Hi guys, let's do GMAT age problems. In GMAT, we come across some problems related to age. All these problems can be dealt with separately from the other ones like the percentage problems and the other types of problems. So the age problems can, can be separated into one topic. But in age also there are different types of problems. Let's do them. So the first type, the easiest ones in the age type of problems are, one of them is given here. Sam is 12 years older than Tom, who is 5 years younger than Sohail. If Sohail will be 22 years old next year, how old was Sam last year? If we notice, in this problem, all ages are given as additions or subtractions because somebody is older than the other one or somebody is younger than the other one. In addition to that, at least one of the ages can easily be found out because we can see Sohail will be 22 years old next year. That can be easily be found out. So this is the first type of the test, first type of the question, age problem. Let's start doing it. So the easiest way I have found out is just write, you know, the initials of the names to make it easier. So S for Sam, T for Tom, and SH for Sohail. And then we'll start with Sohail because his age can be found out. It's not connected to anybody else. So he'll be 22 years old next year. This year he must be younger. That younger, older understanding is very important. You can easily ask this question to yourself. So if he'll be 22 years old next year, he must be younger. So he is 21 this year. What about Tom? He is younger. Yes. So five years younger. Take away 5, we are left with 16. So we know Tom's age is 16. What about Sam? He is 12 years older than Tom, whose age now we know. So now we know Sam's present age is 28 years old. And now we check what's required in the question. So in the question they are saying, how old was Sam last year? Last year. So it means we have to take away 1. So 28 minus 1 gives you 27. That's the answer. If you follow these steps, there are much less chances of mistakes. Otherwise, it's very easy to make mistakes in these type of questions. Now we move on to the next type of the question, age problem. Let's see why it's different. Michael is twice as old as Robert, who is two years older than Olivia. If Olivia was 20 years old two years back. How old will be Michael after two years? Now, if you notice this one, Michael is twice as old. This twice is a multiple. So these problems, we have to be very careful because this is here, the two will be multiplied while the other one is just addition. And again, one of the ages can be easily found out. Let's do that again. M for Michael, R for Robert, O for Olivia. We'll start with Olivia. She was 20, 30 years old. Two years back, she must be older now. So she must be 22 now. Then Robert is two years older. So he becomes 24. And Michael is two times as old. So he is, this is multiplied by two, that is 48. Now we know Michael's present age. What's required in this question? How old will be Michael after two years? So we have to add 2 to it and we get 50 years old. Okay, these two types are discussed in this video. In the next lesson, we'll do more types of problems, age problems, the harder types of age problems. Thank you.